show on Kids Place Live. And, Tori, there was a recent st survey taken of over 2,000 U.S. residents asking them which TV house or home they would drop everything and move into if they had the chance. And, Tori, have you ever wa loved a TV show but also just kind of wanted to live in the house on that TV show? Thought, oh. like, wow, if only I could live there. Oh, you've asked me this question before, and my answer is always Finn and Jake's Treehouse in Adventure Time. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even thinking of, a, of an animated show. Oh, that would be awesome. you got to think outside the house. Okay. Um, I, growing up, wanted to live on in the house on the full house. Yes! And then my kids started watching Fuller House, and the house really didn't change all that much. But I still, even though some of it was a little outdated now, I still still love that house. There was something so welcoming and homey about it. Um, can you guess some of the shows that are on this list? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <gasps> Number one on the list! Uh-huh, uh-huh. You are so good at this stuff, Tori. You've got your finger on the pulse of pop culture. Well, Fresh Prince I, of Bel-Air. I one. always get the first one, and then I just fall apart after that. What would be another one? Definitely, I mean... I not the apartment in Friends because I don't really know what's it's going on, there. on over there. Really, that one came in at number six, the apartment on Friends, which is probably not a show that most kids have watched, but the grown-ups know that one. Mm. So, yep, the apartment on Friends. How about Smart House from the Disney Channel original movie, Smart House? <laughs> no, that is not on this list. Bummer. Most of these are shows that were. Um, most of these are, are grown-up shows, uh, except for Full, Full House was on the list, coming in at number nine. The House from the Golden Girls, that house in, I think it was Miami, Florida, or Boca Raton, I can't remember where it was, number eight on the list. A house that I loved then and even more now, the Brady Bunch House. Did you ever watch the Brady Bunch? Wait, these are just regular houses. I know, but there's something about the houses, and I wonder if it's the house or if it's the people in them that make it a home that you want to live in. No, but I would say the... I think yeah, we go got to think outside of, you know, real TV here, because all of the, the ones that are coming to mind for me would be like the Weasley's house from Harry Potter, where all of the chores mm. are done by magic, but it's also very homey and cozy. Or um, what would be another fun one? Like, I can't believe Pee Wee's Playhouse is yes, not on this list. Exactly. Sign me up. That's where I want to live. So if you're a kid listening right now or a grown-up, I want to know if there is a TV show that you watch and wish you could live in that house. So call us up and tell us what it is. Uh, and and just let's just stick with TV shows. We know that when it comes to movies, everybody wants to live in the Home Alone house. But we're talking just TV shows here. If you could live in the house of a family on a TV show, what would it be? Or even just the bedroom of a kid. I remember wanting Punky Brewster's bed. Grown-ups know what I'm talking about. She had this bed that was like a booby-trapped contraption invention thing. It was so amazing. All right, so 1-866-328-2345. If you could live in the house of a character on a TV show, what is the TV show? Who's What's the house? 1-866-328-2345.